Hey, how's it going, everyone? I wanted to go over the top five penny stocks that a lot of people have been talking about. They do have the most amount of popularity, and I'm sure a lot of you are curious about these stocks in general, if they're going to go crazy or they're not, and what the play is on these chart breakouts. But before we do get started, quick disclaimer, anything we do mention is purely for entertainment purposes. If you like financial advice, I recommend you contact a financial professional. However, we do go play by play every single day throughout the month, and we plan on doing this throughout the whole entire year. So if you want to keep seeing more plays on breakouts and entries, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell notification next to it, and you'll be notified that's how we matter. Now, we do this throughout the day. We post about eight to 10 videos on different breakouts that we see or possible breakouts. So if you guys want to see these again, all you have to do is subscribe. But for today, we're going to post one video on five of the most popular penny stocks for you guys right now. Now, let me talk about these for you guys so we can go through them real quick. We're going to talk about BNGO first. Um, BNGO, we did talk about it down here at the descending wedge that it was creating. It did break out and we bought in and we sold. Um, we did let it come down and consolidate and wait for confirmation back around the 910, 915 area. So we can see if we're going to buy back in and let the play come to us on this one. And if it doesn't, then obviously there's a lot to look down below for. Uh, we have a lot of people love this stock. So I do see a great bull run that could happen, but we are going to let the bulls take advantage of the bears on this one. And once they do, then we'll be buying in for the nice entry here. Now, I do want to go to the next favorite one, which is GNUS genius a lot of people have been wondering if it's going to have a huge run up again and we're going to back up to the four hour chart here so we can look at our swing trades here so uh, we did draw the fibonacci line on this one for you guys we did see that it did try to hold this support line and we do see a possible bull run being made here now we're going to wait for this one to confirm as well i do have the green lines and the arrows set as we had two predictions on how this stock would go up either it would grab this support and make its way up or grab this one and make its, its way up and if it does not then we would have waited for our play as usual and played patiently and let the play come to us so again uh, genius we will let the one this one come to us as well um, it's not quite bullish yet so again we are going to hold off on this one jagx a lot of people have been talking about jack's health um, we are waiting for a confirmation on this one as well it did have a quite a sell-off uh, yesterday it had about a four percent sell-off not as deep as we could expect uh, for something that went up so much so again it could just be consolidating we're waiting to see what's going to happen here if it's going to hold the support around 280 or if it's going to go up and give us a nice buy signal around the 420 440s that's where i would buy personally again i see the bulls having the momentum around this area so again that's why we make this breakout where we buy personally so again Jax, I like the company. There's a lot of people talking about it. I like that there could be a bull run for this, of course. And we're going to wait and let this one confirmed for us as well. Um, and the other one, I, like, I see a lot of people talking about ZOM. ZOM, a lot of people have been cashing out on this. A lot, a lot of people bought around the 20, 30 cent mark. And now it's around the 97 cents. It did come up to $1.34. So at this point, it does have a descending wedge. We are waiting for this one to play out here. I'm going to come down to the five minute chart so we can look at it even closer. We do see the descending wedge being built and we are going to see if it wants to break out here or if it's going to hold it down. Um, again, it does create the similar um, consolidation right here and did go crazy. So it could be consolidating here and creating a bullish run. But until it breaks 134, I would wait for confirmation on this one, of course, and let the play come to us as well. Um, ZOM, let it play out. Definitely look, a lot to look down below for it could just crash. ZOM has done that in the past. So you got to be careful with this one, especially. And of course, it's a penny stock. So. Again, it's very volatile. And then my favorite one of them all, SNDL. SNDL, everybody's been wondering if the stock is gonna go to two to $3. In my opinion, I like SNDL a lot. Um, I'm very bullish on the cannabis industry and I see a lot of catalysts that are very possible for this stock, especially because Biden and the, the Democrats won the Senate. So then they can easily pass marijuana all over the states if they wanted to at this point and it'd be pretty simple in my opinion so i think we'll probably see those catalysts coming and i think any uh, cannabis company is going to go crazy at that point and in my opinion a lot of people are going to regret not being able to buy cannabis one day so again um, we do like SNDL personally because they are debt free. They mentioned a few weeks ago, about a month ago now at this point. So they are debt free. They are penny stock. They're very volatile. So you have to be careful, of course. But um, we have been seeing quite a sell off the last couple of days. And a lot of people are wondering if this is if this is a was a pump and dump. You know, a lot of people have been wondering. Now, we have to look back at the chart. I do like the way that it has been coming down and consolidating and breaking out, consolidating and breaking out. And it looks like it could be breaking out here. But again, we are going to let the play come to us. We did buy here and sell around the 60, the 74 range. 
but we got to let this come down, consolidate and break out again. In my opinion, around the 78 range is when it would show bulls in the favor. And I would see a nice tight stop last around 74 um, on this one, of course. So again, everything that we do talk about on this channel is based on letting the plays come to us. If you want to see more of these, all you have to do is subscribe. Again, everything we talk about is entries, breakouts, and uh, small stop losses. So that way you guys have low risk plays again. So again, if you want to see these throughout the day, Monday through Friday, we go crazy. We go to about eight to 10 videos. So if you want to see these again, subscribe. Much love to everybody in the comment section. I love you guys. And everybody that's been subscribing, you guys are amazing. Appreciate you all. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video on a nice Saturday and hopefully you guys have a blessed day. Much love to you all.